All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. What we have for you guys today, something we were really looking forward to, the C8 Z06 equipped with the Z07 package, kind of the first of a new era here in the Corvette world. Hardtop convertible alongside the C7 ZR1 convertible and the last of the era of Corvettes in terms of front engines. You have the manual transmissions then here we have with the Z06, the mid-engine, the flat plane crank. Um, a lot of similarities with both cars, yet a lot of differences. We're here talking kind of which one do you like more. Uh, the more you kind of see the Z06 car, you kind of become drawn to it. Obviously the C7 ZR1, one of the best Corvettes in terms of generations that they made. The ZR1, 755 horsepower with the LT5 supercharger with the manual transmission. Only 140 convertibles were made in 2019 for the ZR1s. Um, you know, just rough estimate about 70 of those being the ZTK cars with the high wing, uh, the other half being low wing. This here with the Z07 cars, we were specifically hunting down a Z06 with the Z07 package that was also going to be equipped with the exposed carbon fiber wheels and the exposed carbon fiber arrow. So that's up here with the dive planes and also in the back with the arrow with the wing. Those three options, the wheels, the arrow, the Z07, those are your top three options. This car specifically has over $53,000 in factory options. The window sticker is a little over 181,000. One of the highest stickers I've seen uh, for me personally, it is the highest one that I've seen. I know on the C8 Tracker website that there is an MSRP out there of 181, 700 and change. So really this car is right there. Um, but only 102 of those cars that are being built with the Z06 um, have all of those options. So right now there's 234 Z07 cars that were built out of all the Z06s. When you narrow it, narrow it down to the carbon fiber exposed wheels and arrow, you are down to just 102. How many of those cars are convertibles? You're going to probably be around 30 to 40 cars in total would be my guess. So 140 convertibles with the ZR1s in a manual transmission, 102 cars equipped with the Z07 and all the exposed carbon probably uh you know our only time that we're going to have matching colors in terms of a zr1 convertible manual transmission and then a convertible hardtop uh, convertible with the z06 and all of those options so uh, the sound on both of them i mean the flat plane crank is unbelievable same thing with the lt5 and the 755 horsepower from that engine you have the 670 uh, horsepower from the flat plane crank all the creature comforts with all the carbon fiber and everything that is in the Z06. Uh, competition sport seats from the Sebring Orange package in the convertible here. Your, I think they're called the GT2 bucket seats on the Z06. Uh, it's just you know, kind of crazy to see the transformation from the C7 to the C8. Some people obviously love it already. It's taken us a little bit of time to kind of open up to the C8 uh, cars. At first, I was not a fan of the C8. The Z06 has kind of taken me in, uh, definitely growing on me more and more. C7, obviously everybody knows, probably one of the, the best generation of Corvettes besides the mid-years that they made. <laughs>
All right, so that's a wrap, guys, on our little comparison here, the C7ZR1 convertible manual transmission and our C8Z06 equipped with the Z07. If you haven't already, please subscribe, leave a comment, let us know what you guys think. Would you go C8, C7, uh, if you had a choice? Be on the lookout for what we have coming your way.